trying to get Caitlin to get put on hers. I was trying to get Caitlin to put it on hers. Mm-hmm. Everybody to see it. You're live on everything. Live on everything. Hey everybody, how are y'all doing today? I know I'm doing a little late live Q&A today, but I had some baseball to play and some baseball to watch. And we'll be future All-Stars game is on right now. Ton of home runs today. That's so is Brandon is kind of up? No, no, Brandon's like, I mean, that's what they're calling it. Yeah. Brandon's like at a tournament, though. For a oh, okay. Game. There's actual, like, um, major league players that got drafted that are, like, on these uh, minor league systems, like the best guys from those. Like, who are going to be the next up and coming futures? Yeah, we're live. We're live, we're live. What's up? What's up? Oh. And everybody tuning in today. Really. Doing a late one today. Huh. Scared her. Almost broke the setup. <laughs> How you doing, man? Hmm? How you doing? Tired? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good Hey everybody, Ronnie Petito with Petito's Performance Training Center, and we got the whole crew kind of tuned in today. We got Alec, Yo. Tay, Hola. rolling the cameras, we got Papa Ron over here in the corner, and you and Caitlin woke up to join us, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> but I hope everybody's having a good Sunday. I'm just going to get it right into the questions. The first question is from Clay. I need some advice. I feel like I have hit a plateau with my lifting. My weight on the bench hasn't gone up in three months. I have tried adding weight for less reps and less weight for more reps. Nothing seems to be helping me to get stronger, even in other exercises as well. What should I do? Well, let's refocus the mindset because there is definite other ways of getting stronger, right? Not just adding more weight to the bench because eventually that's going to stop. So wherever you're at, perfect your form. Start working on that. Increase your time under tension. So as you're going down, you know, let's say you're doing chest or something like that. As you're going down, take your time. One, two, three. If that's still too easy and you're not going up weight, maybe get to five seconds. But And also on the way up to, as well. Now, you also can increase range of motion. Some people only get like halfway to their chest on a, on a bench. And, you know, okay, we're getting a lot of weight there. Well, if you're not increasing your weight from there, maybe you need to increase range of motion. Get all the way down to your chest and start working on that. And if it's not uncomfortable for you, drop some weight, you know. And make sure you can increase the full, get the full range of motion out of it. And last but not least, once you perfect all those things, you can turn to explosive power. So when you're like doing the chest, you can come here and then boom, explode off the chest. But like I said, you got to perfect the form. So you got to make sure you're controlling it and you got full range of motion and everything. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm paying attention. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so, what, what do they call that on Snapchat? Uh, face that's probably swap. a face swap. It's face swap, yeah. So, they did a face swap one day, me and her. And, uh, yeah. Papa Ron's saying that's how the kids are going to look. So, anyway, back to Clay? Yeah, back to Clay. <laughs> so, Clay, anyways. I'm focused. Yeah, we're, um, focused. we're going to talk more about fitness, guys, okay? Let's stop doing that. Yes. Ron. Yeah, stop. Stop. <laughs> Turn this into a comedy special. It's supposed to be a fitness Q and A. You that kid in school. That... <laughs> All right, but anyways, Clay, perfect your form, increase your time under tension, increase range of motion, and increase the explosive power once you have all those perfected. All right, on to the next question. We got Katie. What's going to happen to me if I decide to do strictly weight training and no cardio? I want my muscle definition back, and do what I enjoy for a while so I don't burn out. So, first of all, I'm glad you talked about burning out. When you burn out, that means you're not liking what you do, you know, no matter what it is. Nobody burns out from doing what they like. If it's not challenging you anymore, you're not going to want to do it. That's your burnout. So, what's going to happen is if you actually like to lift weights, you're going to get the best of both worlds because you're going to like it. So, that burnout feeling is going to be gone. And on top of that, you're going to tone up and burn more fat by doing that. So, you're going to get both goals in one. So you're doing the right thing. Keep it going. It's not, that's a perfect plan, you know, to cut the cardio. If you're not liking it at that moment, you can always go back to it 
and lifting weights, if you do it intensely enough, is going to be kind of like cardio anyways. So, you know, only take 30 second breaks, you can still make the same kind of cardio gains with that. All right. And as I'm going through this, don't forget to anybody watching, I don't know who's viewing right now, but anybody watching, if you have any questions, you can leave them now. And if I can get to them, you know, at, if you're viewing this live, if I can get to them, I'll answer them now. And if not, I'll answer them in the next live Q&A. All right, now on to Phil. Is it possible to get a sustainable fit body even with having a genetic cause for being overweight? Well, yes, of course. It's definitely a possibility. It's just going to be a lot harder. It's going to be, you're going to have to seriously pay attention to every little bit of your diet, write down your calories, you know, cut out the sugar, cut out all the processed foods, stick to whole foods, start throwing tons of veggies on every meal, like make 75% of every meal vegetables, you know, get your body alkaline as much as you can. It's going to be hard to beat it if it's genetically made for it to happen to you. But if you start right now, you know, no matter what age you are, if you start right now, you can definitely start reducing the risk of, you know, that disorder hindering your ability to lose weight because anybody if you're intaking the right stuff anybody can actually get where they want to be you know no matter how much your genetics is helping or hurting you but yeah make sure make sure your nutrition's on point so no matter where you're at in your life your genetics make sure your nutrition's on point and exercise every day and lift weights start lifting weights get stronger the more muscle you build the more your body's resilient to that kind of thing, it's gonna keep burning fat even when you're not working out. So build that muscle up so it can kind of counteract what's going on with you genetically. All right, moving on. Connor, do you have any ideas for breakfast? I can't eat eggs and I don't know what else is healthy and filling or good for the morning time. So a couple good things in the morning, there's a bunch you can really intake, you can do, you know, some kind of protein, you can do vegetables. What I do is I kind of throw it all together in a shake. I do uh, kale, three cups, or uh, technically one and a half cups of kale, one and a half cups of spinach, um, and whatever kind of fruit I want that day, you know, whether it's strawberries or strawberry banana or, you know, blueberries or, you know, whatever. I mix up the fruits to make it, the taste different. And then you add in the protein. You can do like a Greek yogurt or regular yogurt. Or you can even do peanut butter with it. So you know, there's a bunch of things. And if you don't like the smoothie factor of it, mix them all together, you can eat them separate. You know, add veggies to either one of those proteins or add the uh, fruit to either one of those proteins. But you want the protein with it so you can have some something sustainable in the morning throughout the day. So ugly. Yeah. He's a little ugly dog. Where's Coda? JJ! <laughs> Anyways, we're moving on to the next question. I still got whole other question left from Tina I do most of my workouts at home I have gotten to the point that I should join a gym that I think I should join a gym because I need to start adding weight training to the program I, I want to keep progressing and reach my goals problem is I am very intimidated to join a gym I don't know if I'm self-conscious or what but what should I do Okay, get your ass in the gym. Stop worrying about what other people are thinking. Stop worrying about, you know, whatever fear is going on and just get to the gym. First of all, nobody's paying attention to you when you're there. And second of all, I know a lot of people are doing different things. You're like, oh, I've never seen that before. Is that good or bad? A lot of people don't know what the hell they're doing. Any local gym around here, a lot of people don't know what's going on. They're just going there. Oh, this is what's supposed to be healthy. So they're just doing whatever, you know, it's kind of like, if you're taking a test and you're cheating on the person next to you and they're not doing the right thing, well, you know, <laughs> you might be doing the, you're going to be failing too. So it's kind of like in the gym. Don't worry about what they're doing. If you know what's going on with you and where you're at and where, what exercises you need to be doing that day, that's all that matters. Okay. So don't, don't let the fear of what others are thinking, you know, dictate what you're doing. You can either be fearful of them and not go after your goals and stay home. Or you can go ahead and overcome that fear and actually get your ass to the gym because that's where you need to be. If that's, where, if that's what you're talking about, that's what you feel is right, then go do it. Stop worrying about what other people think. It doesn't matter. It's all about you. That's all the questions I have for today. 
Is there any questions up there? No. <laughs> no questions? No. All right, well, if anybody does tune into this and wants to leave questions, go for it. But I'm going to go ahead and go eat some dinner because I am hungry. <laughs> Everybody have a good rest of their Sunday, and I'll see you all next week.